Hello students, uh, it's very important to remember that uh, lipid solubility of a drug is essential for its absorption and distribution in the body. On the contrary, water solubility is essential for the excretion of drug and its metabolites primarily in the urine. So, biotransformation is a process by which lipophilic lipid soluble drug is metabolized and it is converted to polar or water soluble metabolite that is excreted from the body primarily in the urine or in the bile. Now these biotransformation reactions are of two types phase 1 reactions and the phase 2 reactions. So in this video we are going to study phase 1 reactions for the biotransformation or metabolism of drugs. Now this video is 8th in the series of videos on pharmacokinetics. Now, phase 1 reactions include oxidation, reduction and hydrolysis. Now, these reactions are primarily carried out by cytochrome P450 group of microsomal enzymes which are located on the smooth endoplasmic reticulum in the liver. Now, these phase 1 reactions, they cause modification of drug to produce a slightly polar that is water soluble active or in majority of cases inactive metabolite. Now these metabolites are either excreted uh, as such or these metabolites are further metabolized by the phase 2 reactions. Uh, let's uh, study phase 1 reactions one by one. Now phase 1 reactions are primarily carried out by uh, cytochrome P450 group of uh, microsomal enzymes located on the smooth endoplasmic reticulum in the liver. And the phase 1 reactions include oxidation reduction and hydrolysis. Now oxidation reactions, uh, let's first talk about the oxidation reactions. Uh, these reactions cause either a removal of hydrogen atom or addition of oxygen atom to the drug molecule. Now these reactions are carried out, uh, these are mediated by a cytochrome P450 group of microsomal enzymes. And there are four main types of oxidation reactions namely hydroxylation, then oxygenation at carbon, nitrogen or sulfur atom and uh, ND alkylation and oxidative deamination. Now let's uh, first talk about uh, hydroxylation which is a type of oxidation reaction. Now hydroxylation reaction is explained here with an example of dizepam. Now one of the pathways by which dizepam is uh, metabolized is by hydroxylation. Now this is the structure of dizepam. Now one oxygen atom is added and uh, uh, the structure is modified. Uh, the structure of dizepam is oxidized to 3-hydroxy dizepam. Now this 3-hydroxy dizepam is slightly polar and it further undergoes phase 2 reactions. It further undergoes uh, glucuronic acid conjugation and uh, thereby it is uh, easily excreted from the body. Uh, now second type of oxidation reaction is the oxygenation at carbon, nitrogen or uh, sulfur atom. Now look at the structure of uh, phenothiazine. It is oxidized at uh, sulfur atom. Uh, that is uh, there is addition of uh, oxygen atom to the, uh, uh, to the sulfur atom uh, to produce slightly polar phenothiazine sulfoxide and this further oxidized uh, to produce more polar metabolite that is the uh, phenothiazine uh, sulfone which is uh, excreted easily excreted from the body. Now third type of uh, oxidation reaction is the ND alkylation. Uh, this is the dizepam. Now here a methyl group is present on the nitrogen atom. Now due to oxidation this uh, alkyl or the methyl group is removed. Uh, this methyl group is removed and uh, the reaction is called as the ND alkylation and uh, this reaction shows uh, removal of the hydrogen atom and uh, thereby desmethyl dizepam is produced. Now this desmethyl dizepam is a metabolite of dizepam and it further undergoes phase 2 metabolism. Uh, it is conjugated with the glucuronoid and excreted primarily in the urine. Uh, now the fourth type of oxida oxidation reaction is the oxidative deamination. Now look at this structure. This is the structure of uh, amphetamine. Uh, 
Now here oxygen is added. Here oxygen is added and the amino group is removed. And this reaction is called as the oxidative deamination. Now the metabolite that is phenyl acetone is a slightly polar and it, further, it is further metabolized by the uh, phase 2 reaction. So this is about the oxidation reactions. Uh, now let's talk about the next type of phase 1 reaction that is the reduction. Uh, so let's talk about the reduction reaction. Now here uh, hydrogen atom is attached that is hydrogen atom is added or oxygen atom is removed from the drug. Now look at this reaction. Oxygen atom is removed and uh, chloral hydrate is metabolized to trichloroethanol. Now this trichloroethanol is further metabolized by phase 2 reaction and is excreted in the urine. Now uh, the next uh, type of uh, phase 1 reaction is the uh, hydrolysis. Now in hydrolysis the drug breaks or the drug splits in the presence of water. And the hydrolysis is mediated by enzymes like asterases, amidases, uh, peptidases etc. Uh, look at this example. Uh, this is procainamide. Procainamide splits in the presence of water uh, to produce paramino benzoic acid. And this paramino benzoic acid is excreted in the urine. So this is in brief on phase 1 reactions, uh, phase 1 biotransformation reactions. Now if you find the video useful, kindly like, subscribe and share this video. Thanks for watching this video.